Hey, welcome back to Dominican Rendezvous once again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please subscribe, please share uh, this video as we continue our journey and looking at many things related to and about the Dominican Republic. I uh, really appreciate your um, participation as well as your viewing of this video channel. Thank you once again. So today we're going to just talk about very briefly uh, by way of introduction, if you will, um, why to why think about doing business in the uh, Dominican Republic or doing business with the Dominican Republic. First of all, let me say this: if you have visited the Dominican Republic and you are thinking about um, and you spent some time in the Dominican Republic and you're either Think about moving to the Dominican Republic and establishing a business or doing some investing in the Dominican Republic um, or perhaps just doing business from your home country in the United States or what have you. Um, I'm going to suggest this, that you take your time and study carefully everything you can, as much as you can, about the Dominican Republic. Now, unfortunately, I've seen a lot of guys and I'm saying guys and gals, but I'm using the guys generically, who have said they want to do business in the Dominican Republic, but really have never sat down to think about what they're doing, never have sat down to research the, the market, the country, the culture, the people. You have to do this. Any wise person making an investment is going to do his homework. He's going to do her homework. And it's more than just the numbers, and those are extremely important, but you should take the time to learn the language, study the culture, know the people, so you can see how things work and how it will relate to you and your situation or your business that you want to conduct in the business, uh, I'm sorry, in the Dominican Republic. Now, having said that, let's assume that you decide to move to the Dominican Republic and you would like to establish a business in the Dominican Republic. May I suggest that you first, now not a lot of people do this, but that you first establish your residency. Get your residency permit in order that you can do things legally and do things the right way so that in case you're ever caught, you won't have extra problems because you didn't have a registration or you weren't a resident of the Dominican Republic so that you may not be deported. As a resident, it's just easier, I think. It will be easier to bring some of the things that you need to establish your business in the Dominican Republic, your household goods, especially if you're using them for your business, um, can be and will be most likely, depending on what it is, duty-free without much hassle. So consider that um, as you look to invest in the Dominican Republic. Now, the Dominican Republic, the government of the Dominican Republic, has been typically over the last several years, very, very supportive of foreigners coming to do uh, business in the Dominican Republic, foreign investment in the Dominican Republic. They want those dollars. They want those investments. They want the opportunity to give people uh, jobs, if you will, uh, in the Dominican Republic. So they are available the government makes available incentives uh, for foreigners who are investing in the Dominican Republic, but you will have to be a resident. So um, that's just, just you got to do it, okay? And so, and then also the other thing is, is that if you do become a resident of the Dominican Republic, you should be able to avoid paying U.S. taxes because of your residency status in the Dominican Republic. Check with your tax attorney on that, but I'm pretty sure um, if you go through the right steps, that is true. Um, the only problem is it does take a lot of paperwork, a lot of red tape. There is, it is quite a lengthy process, and that's probably why some people try to skirt around it and open up businesses that are not truly um, legitimate in the eyes of the, the uh, Dominican Republic government. Um, 
As far as infrastructure is concerned, we've heard this before, I've talked about this before, um, you are going to have some problems with internet service or Wi-Fi, but it's decent, um, depending on how much money you want to spend and what type of equipment you want to get. Um, the electricity can be a problem, so as you've heard me say before, you need a generator, you need an inver inventor, um, you need surge protection, um, you need to get all this stuff if you are actually going to be establishing your business operations in the um, Dominican Republic so that your business can go um, uninterrupted. So, but back to the main story, I kind of got off subject there. But the benefits of doing business in the, De in the Dominican Republic for you is that the Dominican Republic has been, still is, a growing economy, reaching 6% GDP yearly, if not more. Um, there is a hunger of, I should say, for imported goods into the Dominican Republic. So you may might, I'm sorry, you may think of or you might find something that could be very useful to the Dominican market. And you may may consider exporting whatever it is, that service or that product, to the Dominican Republic and hopefully establishing a business uh, that way. Now, while English is not widely spoken in the Dominican Republic, and you've heard me say this many times, learn Spanish, learn Spanish, learn Spanish, and I still say learn Spanish, but in the business world, in the business world, many of your business professionals will speak Span I'm sorry, English. Um, and you should be able to communicate um, without a lot of, of problem. But that does not mean, oh, so I don't need Spanish. No, you do need Spanish. So study Spanish for all the reasons that I've talked about before. If you're planning on hiring people, you will find that the Dominican Republic typically has low uh, wage costs. Um, the Dominican people are not paid very highly uh, just because of the market situation in the Dominican Republic. Um, the legal framework is very solid in the Dominican Republic. You've got a lot of of reputable lawyers, reputable law offices who can help you with the legalities of the um, of, of your business as well as the rights that you have as granted by the Dominican Constitution and government. Um, getting to the Dominican Republic, to and from the Dominican Republic, we talked about this in other videos, breeze, um, particularly if you're coming from the East Coast in the United States, but from all over. I mean, there are many uh, international flights into the Dominican Republic all over. Um, the, the, the governmental um, administration, is not the right word, the government is very stable. The politics of the comp company is very stable. The company, I'm uh, sorry, the country will be going through an election in 2020. And so far, everything is running um, pretty smoothly as far as who is going to be running um, and representing the various political parties. Um, there's not a lot of, 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 of uproar or upheaval. And so you do have a stable political as well as economic environment. Um, the transportation network is pretty good. Um, I've talked about this in another video. Please check that video out. The currency, again, pretty stable. It goes back to the economy. Uh, 50 pesos to the U.S. dollar for the most part. Um, it fluctuates maybe one or two do uh, pesos either direction. So um, it is pretty, pretty stable. Um, the telecommunications, as I mentioned, is a bit um, shaky, but it is stable for the most part in, in terms of what you need to get the work done. There are many multinational com companies uh, represented in the Dominican Republic doing business, doing business fine um, as, as well. So, you know, I'm just here to say consider these things, um, these few tips, these pointers, uh, if you are in fact thinking about investing in the Dominican Republic, whether it's a big business or a small business, your business, um, or even buying real estate for yourself, you want to think of some of these factors and some of these um, um, variables, if you will, of, of preparing and doing business in the Dominican Republic. From